Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's Little Blossom Storytime geared for ages birth to two and a half and their caregivers. My name is Miss Sonia and I really miss all of you but guess what? Starting tomorrow we will have open hours so please check our website, have your big person check our website, our um, social media and they can find out what time you guys can come visit us and get some materials and we'll say a quick hello and I will be so happy to finally see you. Okay, so today's story time, I'm gonna give you a hint. What's in this here mystery box? You guys should be used to this by now. Any guesses on something that might be green? And it might have long back legs and it might go ribbit, ribbit. Do you guys know what it is? I bet you do. It's a frog! Did you guys get it right? Say hello, Mr. Frog, how are you? Hello, how are you guys? All right, I think Mr. Frog's excited to be here today. We are going to put him, oh, how about right up here? And he can listen to our story. But first, I'm gonna teach you how to do the sign for frog. Can you guys go like this, kind of like this? and put it under your chin. You don't have to touch your chin, but put it under there and put your fingers in and put them out. In, out, in, out, in, out. Just like a frog flipping those long legs hopping. All right, great job. Our story today is the wide mouth frog. It's a pop-up book. I love those. You guys ready? Here we go. Looks like he's waving to you. Can you say hi? <gasps> I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog, shooting out his long sticky tongue. Can you go shoot your tongue out? I don't want to catch any flies though, do you? <gasps> As he hopped along, he met a blue feathered bird. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, bird? I eat wriggly worms and slugs, replied the bird, snapping his pointy beak. Snap, snap. Next, the wide mouth frog met a furry brown mouse. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, mouse? I eat crunchy seeds and juicy berries, replied the mouse, wriggling her whiskers. You guys pretend you have whiskers. <gasps> the wide mouth frog was still catching flies when he saw a big green alligator. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, alligator? What do you think the alligator eats? I eat delicious wide mouth frogs, replied the alligator, showing his sharp white teeth. Ah! The wide mouth frog stopped catching flies and gulped. And he puckered his lips. Can you pucker your lips? And made his mouth as small as possible. Ooh, I don't see many of them around, do you? He said, and he leapt into the pond with a splash. Do you guys like that story? Can you guys do a splash? Can you go splash, 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 splash? Good job. I hope you guys get to go swimming this year. Or you can sit in the bathtub and go splash, splash, splash. All right, next, just a quick little something for you guys because I want you to really try to be able to see these frogs. We're gonna count them first and then I'm gonna ask you to do something, okay? So count with me. One, show me one. Two, show me two. Three, show me three. Four, Show me four. And five, 
show me five. What all those fingers? All right. Now, can you see that these two frogs with their long, long legs are playing leapfrog over the other three? Can you guys try and stretch out your legs and give a big hop? Give a big hop. I want to make sure you guys are really doing this one more time. Give a big hop. See if your big person with you will do it too. You can both hop and hop and crouch down like a frog. Did you do it? I hope so. If not, maybe try it later outside. Okay. So today for our song, we are going to do ants go marching. And Miss Sonia is not gonna use anything today like a tambourine or shakers because I know sometimes not everybody has them and I don't want you to feel bad. It's okay if you do or don't. So if you have one and wanna use it, that's great. If you don't, that's okay too. So we are doing Ants Go Marching, which is on Bouncy Blue by Eric Litwin, and it's part of the Learning Groove Company. All right, you guys ready? The ants go marching one by one, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching one by one, hoorah, hoorah. Did you show me one? The ants go marching one by one, the little one stopped to suck his thumb, and they all yeah. go marching. Those marching feet go on two. Where's your shoe? Tie your shoe. I pretend. Show me three. on now so you get to see them longer and hopefully you'll be able to hear me over them. Come on bubbles! Come on bubbles! Come on here bubbles! Ooh, I might get my hair washed with bubbles today. All right so I have a little craft for you guys. Your big person can help you with this. Hopefully they can find you a picture of a frog and they can print it and cut it out for you and you can color scribble. Great for fine motor skills. And if they have any green paper, see if they'll cut out a lily pad for you and you can glue it on there. Have a great day, everyone. Hope to see you soon. Bye.